What an amazing schos, what a kavod to speak on behalf of Yad La'achim, in particular for such an auspicious occasion and program as Tuba of Together. I want to just share with you, before we get into it, it's an amazing thing to think about that every year in the United States of America, one of the most followed sporting events is not the Super Bowl or the World Series, but among them is the Scripps Spelling Bee. Throughout the country, children come from all over and they practice for years with tutors and books to be able to spell every difficult, and I mean difficult, impossible word of the already complex English language. And this year, it actually made the front page of the New York Times. Why? It was an eight-way tie. An eight-way tie! But that's not the reason for us. For us, the reason why this year was special in the script Spelling Bee. Imagine it was the first day of the Spelling Bee and Maisa Shahaya Kachaya, this is actually what happened. And the kids are sweaty palms, they're rubbing it on their pants, waiting for the judge to speak the very first word they have to spell. And the judge leaned into the microphone at a nationally televised event. And the first word of the script spelling bee this year was Yiddishkeit. Yiddishkeit. Anybody who publishes in magazines or journals or for Jewish publications knows, I don't know how to spell Yiddishkeit. There are a myriad ways to transliterate terms. Then I started to fantasize. If I was a child on the stage, what would I ask? So what are the questions that you're allowed to ask in a spelling bee? The first one might be, what is the definition of the word? How do we define Yiddishkeit? How would you define Yiddishkeit? How would I define Yiddishkeit if I was a judge? As a Rav, I don't know how to define it in a sentence. And then they would actually ask you, can you use it in a sentence? How do you use Yiddishkeit in a sentence? Yiddishkeit is my raison d'etre. Yiddishkeit is my reason for living. It doesn't give much help to the spelling. But we know how to spell Yiddishkeit. Yiddishkeit is spelled Y A D space L apostrophe A C H I M Yad Laachim because what Yiddishkeit represents, the definition of Yiddishkeit, is Klal Yisrael coming together to be mispalel for those in need. And there's no greater need than Shaduchim. Two Ba'av together. This year, 10 a.m., 5 p.m. in Eretz Yisrael, several amazing things are going to happen. First of all, everybody watching this video is going to go to tubaovtogether.com and they're going to write down the shamas of everybody they know who is in need of Shaduchim, family and friends, neighbors, those up the block, those down the block, in their keila, out of their keila, old friends, new friends from seminary, from yeshiva, in their community, outside their community, write down their names. And then at 10 a.m., there's going to be a hush of a minion going to Amuka, a minion of Tamidei Chachamim, to be misspelled for those names, those on the list, and those, of course, not on the list. And we're going to daven at that same Shah to zamen all of Klal Yisrael together. And we're going to be misspelled that everybody should find their Zavig Emes B'Mehera. We are Zaycha to have a Gadol Hadar Hayayim Chaim Kenievsky, who was Miyayitz, the leaders of Yad La'achim, this amazing organization whose Keser Shem Toy precedes them. So often, Rabbanim have to spend the first few minutes of such videos giving an introduction to what a particular organization does. Mikam Cha Yisrael, there are so many organizations. Yad La'achim is a lighthouse renowned throughout Klal Yisrael. Chaim Kenievsky, informed them, and through them informed us, that at 10 a.m. we're going to recite the following Kapitulach of Tehillim, Kapitulach of Beis, Lamar Ches, Ayin, Pei Beis, Kuf Chaf Aleph, Kuf Chaf Dalit, Kuf Chaf Zayin, Kuf Chaf Ches. And I want to share with you for a few moments those that are involved in this amazing Yiddishkeit. 
in the amazing Yad Lachim, in the amazing Tubav together. Every year before Tubav, what do we read? Ad Biyaskoyel, we read the amazing words of Yirmiyahu Anavi in Megillas Eicha, the heart-wrenching Megillas Eicha. We all know how it opens. Yerushalayim is recalling her former majesty. Now she sits now alone. Pasuk Beis. Pasuk Beis reads, Bechay Sivcha Balayla. She sits alone and she cries the tears of the night. Ve'ein lo minachem. And she has nobody to comfort her. Fine. Powerful words. But we skip three. Three words that have bothered me since my child. It would be enough to be informed that Yerushalayim is crying and no one's there to comfort her. But Yermiyoha Navi added three words. Vidimasa alechia. Her tears fall on her cheeks. Is Yermiyohu informing us of the laws of gravity? Do we not know where tears fall? Did they buy ink by the barrel in the days of Nevi'im that they could just wax poetic? Certainly Yermiyohu is telling us something profound. And I would suggest, perhaps, but Derech Efshin, he's telling us a valuable lesson, a lesson for two Bav together. There are two types of nations and two types of individuals who shed tears, who go through a crisis, who go through a tsar. The first nation, not Am Yisrael. The first nation is Miyayish, they give up. And in their forlorn, they put their head down. And when you put your head down, what happens to your tears? The tears fall to the floor. But not Am Yisrael. Am Yisrael never gives up. Yes, they're bizarre. Yes, Yisraelim is crying. But they keep their head held high. Yeshua Hashem Keheref Ayin in a moment, in the blink of an eye. We know with Tfilah, with Achtos, that Yeshua could come in a moment's notice. When your head is held high, you'll cry. But your tears, with the Masa Alechia, your tears will fall on your face. What an important lesson that perhaps your Miyohu is teaching us. You know, everybody watching this video is aware why Tubav is the day chosen to focus on Shaduchim. It's a Mishnah. Canonized by Yehuda Hanasi, codified in Tainus Chafavim Abbezim. In the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Ein Yemem Tayvim Li Yisrael, Kechamisha Asa Ba'Avi Yama Kipurim. On those two days, we would focus on Shaduchim. I, like you, have read this Mishnah hundreds of times. I never noticed something until I saw the Kedusha Slavi asks this question of Levi Yitzchak Abarditchev. What do you mean, Li Yisrael? Do Gaim have Yemem Tayvim? Just say. There's no holiday. Why the extra word, the Israel? I would suggest, and it's Kedai watching this video just for to hear this Mincha Balula that I once saw in the Shari Ar. While he doesn't ask this question, the Mincha Balula says something stupendous, just absolutely extraordinary. The Mincha Balula says that the word Yisrael is not just a term of endearment. For Yaakov Avinu. Rather, the term Yisrael is a reminder that Am Yisrael comes from Zivugim. Yisrael stands for, ready? Yitzchak, the Yud. Sin, Sarah. The Resh stands for Rifka and Rachel. The Aleph, Avram, the Lamed, Leah, all spelling out Yisrael, Shem Yaakov. The geometric progression. You are mispalel for someone to find the shidduch. You're not just bringing them simcha, but you are creating a future Am Yisrael. The generations, the dare dares that will come from them. This is why, and this is also worthwhile to watch this video just for this. The Marsha says something, put your seatbelts on. The Marsha says, we all know the famous Gemara and Shabbos, that after 120 years, we're going to come to Shamayim come to the heavens, we're going to be judged on the life that we live. It's a series of questions we're going to have to answer. One of them is going to be a sakta of Were you involved in Pru or Avu? 
Rasha says, what do you mean the Sakta? Kiyamta. The question should be, did you fulfill the mitzvah pruvu? Says the Marsha, no, that's not the question. The question is a sakta. Were you busy with it? The orphan, the yasaim, the yasaima, did you help them find shadochim? The neighbor, the younger sibling, the older cousin, the person down the block. Were you busy with people finding their zivogemes? And if we could take part in Torah together by Yad La'achim, TorahTogether.com. We know the question. So when HaKadosh Baruch Hu answers the question, we could say, Avada, I took part of Yad La'achim's Tuba of Together. And we'll go straight into Shemayim. Another reason perhaps why the word Yisrael is added is there's no greater equalizer. I want to tell you a story. There's no greater equalizer. If you want to remember that you're just a member of a nation, Shaduchim equalizes all of us. I became a Rav, I had the schos of becoming a Rav. I was my young or mid-twenties. So I went from my weddings, I went from the chos, the singles table, excuse me, the singles table, to the rabbi's table in just a few years. I would sit there, I would be somewat insecure. It's Rabbanim, Chashavashi Yeshivas, individuals whose Torah I've studied, I've learned from. And invariably, every time, they would turn to me and say, uh, what's your name? Uh, where are you from? What do you do? I thought they were, I was being carded to see if I'm crashing the table. I tell them what I do, where I live. There would be a pause. And the rub would look at me and say, maybe uh, in your shul there's a bacher for my daughter. Maybe in your community there are girls for my bacher. Invariably, this would happen. Me, I knew, I was, I was a kid. I was a youngster. This is the time. This is the tsar that reminds us that we're all on an equal playing field. We all need each other. We all need to come together. I don't want to keep you for too long. I just want to end with the story. Several weeks ago, there was a horrible tsar in Klal Yisrael. In Norfolk, Virginia, Mi Bayam, they say in the Yom Narayim, tremendous tzaddik, Rebu and Bauman, was Nifter, saving another boy. Hey, Gewalt. In any event, I, uh, I had an interview with the Rosh Kailo, the esteemed Rebarach Danziger, the Rosh Kailo in Norfolk, I write for Ami Magazine, so we did an interview with him. So it was published. And a member of my shul came over to me and said, is it really appropriate to interview? He's going through a tsar in a small community. You're going to call him. And so I said, you're right. You know, I, I, I texted him and I, I said, if you're up to it, do you want to be the far same, the Kesar Shem type of Ruben Bauman? I said, we actually have a relationship because of Danziger, the Rosh Kailu, was a bacher in yeshiva when I moved to Buffalo, my first position. He's from Buffalo, and he was a bacher in yeshiva, so I know him. So the Baal Abbas said, yeah, I hear, but still, you know, difficult time. Maybe he's not so comfortable with it. I said, he would tell me, not only do we have a relationship, we're also mishpacha. He said, mishpacha? How are you mishpacha? I said, well, when we moved to Buffalo, he was in the Mechina near Yisrael. But his younger brother was graduating eighth grade. Eight years later, we're still in Buffalo. His younger brother comes back from learning in base Medrash in Eretz Yisrael. We're by a Kiddush. Me and my wife are talking to him. We finish the conversation. We turn around. We look at each other, my wife and I. And we say at the same time, what a perfect Shidduch for Hindi. Hindi is my younger sister-in-law, my wife's younger sister. Kachava, they went out. They're married. He's a dentist. In Baltimore with children, Shbacha, Kanai Nahara. So I said, not only do I have a relationship with this Rosh Kailo, we're also Mishpacha. And the Balabas turns to me and he says, Do you mean to tell me that a Kaddish Baruch Hu plucked you out of Lakewood, placed you in Buffalo just so you could find a Shidduch for your sister in law? I never thought of that. I said, You know what? 
you're right. That's why it happened. That's why the Shemi Shmuel says, Kasha Zivugim Kriyas Yamsuf. Never in Tanakh is it called Kriyas Yamsuf. It's always called Bakeya Yamuf Neimoshe. Kriya, tearing, is our prison. Bokeya, like the Pasuk in Yeshayahu Lamadalit, like the breaking, the pressure of an egg, it's from the outside, from the inside out. It's a Kaddish Baruch Hu's prison. Zevugim sim kasha, because we can only see it from our perspective. Like a Kriyas Yamsu. But if we can see it, Bokeya Yam, says the Shemi Shmuel, if we can see it from Hashem's perspective, the plans that are being laid, the Ashkacha Pratus, what our tefillahs could accomplish, it wouldn't be kasha bechlal, it wouldn't be hard at all. And with this we'll conclude, Shemi Shmuel says, Ksiva v'chasima taiva is begematria chamisha asar ba'av. On this tuba, if I give a bracha, makayin, we should all have a ksiva v'chasima taiva. We should all find our zivagems. Our tefillahs should be answered. Bikardai, Bimahira, everybody in Sar should find their Zivig MS. May we be Zaycha by next year at this time. That Tisha B'Av should be transformed as the Rambam Paskins into a Yamtiv. May we be Zaycha to be together, husbands and wives, families, everybody together with their loved ones by Bayeshlishi to celebrate with Mashiach Tidkenu, She Yavai, Bimahira. Be a menu, Yashakayach, Yad Laachim, Yashakayach, all who join. This Wednesday, August 5th, to Ba'av, join Yad Laachim and over half a million Jews from across the world uniting and davening together for Shaduchim at 10 a.m. New York time, 5 p.m. Eretz Israel time, and simultaneously in over 43 different countries. Check out tubaoftogether.com. At tubaoftogether.com, you can download the Tehillim to be said on Tuba of Together, and you can also submit the names of friends and family to be daven for for free in Amuka and watch many inspirational videos. This year, there will also be a special live global broadcast on tubaoftogether.com where you can say Tehillim together with leading Rabbonim of Kla Yisrael. Please share this video with family and friends and let's make it Tuba of together.